Hello and welcome to Mad About Superheroes. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a page through of the 1983 Marvel Comics adaptation of Star Wars Return of the Jedi. So we're starting off here from Jump with a beautiful cover uh, illustrated by Bill Sienkiewicz. And uh, we got credits here uh, adapted by Archie Goodwin, art by Al Williamson, Carlos Gun excuse me, Carlos Gorzon, and Tom Palmer, and Ron Friends. Now, uh, Al Williamson uh, did quite a few of the Marvel um, film adaptations. Um, he did like one for... Uh, for Blade Runner also. He also did the Empire Strikes Back adaptation. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what the division of labor is here. Um, with I know Tom Palmer as an inker, so maybe these are uh, other artists that are doing finishes, but the, the the look of it really has the Al Williamson look, so I'm assuming that it's, it's all his pencils, and then we have some inkers here going over his work. Um, back in the day, Marvel did a lot of these. They called them super specials, um, which were like magazine size, and I really preferred these over they would also do uh like a limited series um they split like this is like a one-shot thing where the magazine is the full return of the jedi story and then they'd had also monthly they would come out single issues a limited series that would feature you know part, a part of the story you know part one part two part three and um i preferred these because they were you know you get the magazine size is bigger you get to see more of the artwork um uh, the color was more vibrant. Uh, it's better than than the newsprint that comics were on. So I really prefer these these super specials. I, I thought that they were you know they were really something special. And and also back then, uh, you know, uh, uh, other households had um, VHS players, um, and we didn't get a VHS player until like the early '90s. So <laughs> we were kind of late into that game. So uh, I couldn't rewatch Return of the Jedi. I saw it twice in the theater. So this was the next best thing for me to like kind of relive the film, you know, relive the magic. Uh, so I really appreciated these um, these Marvel Comics adaptations. And I can't understate uh, the quality of art in this book um, as I'm paging through it. It's really beautifully rendered. Uh, um, and it, it, like I said, it's the next was the next best thing for me than, you know, to, to watching the film or, or waiting for uh, it to be broadcast on television. So I really enjoyed these. Um, so you can see here uh, Luke talking to Obi-Wan. I really like that that sparkle effect around that energy of like the force, like because he's like a force ghost. That's really well done. Um, all the likenesses uh, of the actors are pretty, uh, you know, up to par. And, and you know, the creatures, the aliens, they, they you know, they're comparable to the to the film, the, the ships, the Millennium Falcon, the, the Death Star, all that stuff. It just it's just so well done. Al Williamson also uh, illustrated a. Uh, a Flash Gordon um, film adaptation, which is really well done. Also, um, before this, this is because Flash Gordon came out in 1980, so it was probably shortly after that, same year or the next year after. I can't, I, you know, I can't remember, but um, that was it, that was for the uh, the distinguished competition. It wasn't for Marvel because uh, they didn't have the license to Flash Gordon. But um, that one's really uh, uh, my my. I have the copy of that is is a lot more uh, beat up than uh, the Return of the Jedi copy we're going through here. Um, but, uh, yeah, that one's a lot of fun too. So maybe I'll pull out that one one day and, and go over it. But, uh, he, he was like, he seems to be like the go-to guy for these things. Cause, uh, uh, you know, again, I can't understate, um, you know, the art, um, uh, it's really what brings me often brings me back to this. Um, you know, aside from, from rewatching the film itself, um, you know, again, this is the next best thing. Marvel had a, had a pretty good, um, ongoing star Wars, uh, series also, um, that they, they started with the original Star Wars, they did an adaptation of that, and then they continued on after like three or four issues of the Star Wars adaptation. They just continued on with the continuity from Star Wars going forward. And then um, when Empire Strikes Back came out, they did an adaptation of Empire Strikes Back um, that was incorporated into their ongoing series. And then when their adaptation ended after three or four issues, whatever it was, um, they just continued on with continuity established in Empire Strikes Back and continuing stories into Return of the Jedi. And they kind of did the same formula after Return of the Jedi came out. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then after Return of the Jedi, they had stories with Luke as a full Jedi and the Ewoks and all that. So um, I have some of those, too, which are, which are fun. Uh, so that's your Return of the Jedi Marvel Comics adaptation. And there's a nice back cover there with uh, Darth Vader. 
And uh, here are some of the other uh, adaptations that I mentioned. There's Conan the Destroyer and Raiders of the Lost Ark. So uh, maybe we'll, we'll crack those open one day and give a look. But uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, looking through this Return of the Jedi super special with me. It certainly was a lot of fun to, uh, to revisit this. Thanks for letting your geek flag fly with Mad About Superheroes. Uh, please don't forget to like the video, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.